I'm Susan Whitmore. Thanks for joining me for another Now You Know. Let's talk about grief myth number three. Again, there are so many grief myths. In fact, I have a whole talk that I do on grief myths, but this one is one of the greatest and one of the most disturbing, especially to parents whose children have died. But it also affects anybody who's lost someone they deeply love. The greatest grief myth number three is that the second year of grieving is much harder than the first. That's a terrible thing to tell someone who's grieving, especially in the very beginning when the pain is so intense and you're so confused and you're hurting so deeply. And for parents, many of them are thinking, I don't wanna be in this world anymore. I can't live without him or her. And then somebody comes along and says, the second year is worse than the first. Now, how do you think that makes people feel? So the first thing I want to ask everyone, including grieving parents who are further down the road, is please don't tell newly grieving parents that the second year is going to be worse than the first. It's not true for everyone. For example, my own personal experience is nothing could be worse than the first year of my grieving. Nothing. So when people would say to me, I hear the second year is worse than the first, that terrified me. And I didn't need that on top of everything else I was already going through. Where does that come from? The fact is that there is a state of shock that the brain goes into when you first lose someone you love. And this is especially true if it's a sudden and unexpected loss. Not that it's any easier for people who know their loved one is going to die. The grief pain is still intense. It's more of a shock and more of a disbelief for the people who said goodbye to their loved one and then they got a phone call that they're gone. People will talk about the grief reactions that they're having and one of them that they'll often talk about is feeling like they're in a dream. It felt to me like I was outside of a home looking into someone else's life, like it wasn't really happening to me. That goes on for a while. And the real reasons why some people find the second year worse than the first year are not fully known. There's all kinds of beliefs around it, and people will say things like, oh, I think the shock has worn off, and that's why I'm feeling all the pain now. And some of that might be true, some of it might not be true. I like to work with proof, scientific evidence, and we can look at anecdotal evidence, which is basically what's true for the person. Is the second year harder than the first? For some people. Is the first year harder than the second? For some people. Everyone's different. You're all going to grieve your own way. Honestly, if you look back on the first year and you think about what you were feeling, most likely you're not feeling the intensity, the sharpness of those edges in the second year, except for maybe moments. We want to dispel Grief myth number three, which is the second year is worse than the first year. It's most likely not going to be true. There's no sense setting it up ahead of time for someone who hasn't gotten there yet and just making their current situation worse. So now you know, grief myth number three, the second year is not necessarily worse than the first. In fact, for most people, it isn't. Shower the people you love with